Duffy's Tavern. Hello, Duffy's Tavern. Where do you eat meat to eat? Aren't you the manager speaking? Duffy ain't here. Oh, hello, Duffy. Tonight, Linda Darnell. And brother, would I love to fence her in? <laughs> yeah, Duffy. Dark, you know, alluring, lovely face, gorgeous figure, beautiful legs, and yet with it all, a certain something that attracts men. <laughs> Yeah, a wonderful girl, Duffy. You know, the, the kind of a girl you want to take home to your mother. <laughs> well, who else could you trust? <laughs> well, you know, last week for selling the most war bonds, I was elected king at a policeman's ball, so uh, I'm going to ask Linda to go with me as me queen. Huh? King can do no wrong, huh? Well, then we'll just hold hands. <laughs> I'll call you back, Duffy. So long. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Duffy's Tavern. Come in and meet Finnegan, Eddie the waiter, Miss Duffy, our singer Bob Graham, Reet Beat Reeves and his orchestra, our special guest tonight, Linda Darnell, and Archie himself, Ed Gardner. Good, good evening, Miss Duffy. Hey, what's cooking, good looking? Oh, Finnegan, you're such a kidder. Uh, well, a guy can't help it uh, when he's got a natural wit. Uh, to say, by the way, did you hear about the fight in Schimmelbacher's bakery? A fight? What happened? Two rolls got fresh. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Anything could start a fight in that crazy Schimmelbacher's. Mm, uh, I guess I'm too subtle for her. That's what it is. Hey, Miss Duffy, where's Archie tonight? Oh, he's in the back room printing himself up. You know, he's going to ask Linda Darnell to go to the policeman's ball. Uh, Linda Darnell. Oh, boy. Linda Darnell. <laughs> you too. Honestly, Finnegan, sometimes you act just like a man. You men. You get so excited just because a person is in the movies. That's not true, Miss Duffy. Last week, did I get excited about Boris Karloff? <laughs> but uh, he's a member of the opposite sex. In that case, why didn't he get excited over me? But, Finnegan, what I'm trying to tell you is... I, that I you're... beg your pardon, but well, would you people mind moving your conversation to another table as a customer trying to sleep under this one? <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Uh, did you hear about the fight in Schimmelbacher's bakery? Did them two rolls get fresh again? <laughs> Daddy, please, you're supposed to ask me what happened in Schimmelbacher's. Okay, what happened? Uh, did them two rolls get fresh again? Uh, pardon me, is this a private hen party or can anybody lay an egg? <laughs> uh, hello, Arch. Hey. What are you sniffing at, Finnegan? Gee, you smell pretty. Yeah, well, I just tinctured myself up with a little cologne. <laughs> you know, with a dame like Linda Darnell coming down here, I naturally want to give myself a good aroma. Mr. Archie, aroma ain't built in a day. <laughs> oh, no Just a second, Archie I know that smell Were you using my perfume, my white shoulders? Well, I just used a little bit Just a dab behind each ear And with your ears, that's a lot of perfume <laughs> That's right, Eddie That's <clears throat> very expensive perfume White shoulders And he puts it behind his ears well, it's cold in that back room. I didn't want to take my shirt off. <laughs> uh, hey, Arch, I hear you're going to take Linda Darnell to the policeman's ball. Yep, uh, Linda Darnell, Finnegan, and wait till them bulls see them calves. <laughs> Boy, uh, you certainly are lucky. Uh, you know, I love brunettes. You do, huh? Yeah. You can trust them more than blonde. You know, a blonde could be bleach. Well, a brunette could be dyed. So what? We all gotta go sometimes. <laughs> now, that's one thing about Linda Finnegan. She is completely au naturel, you know? Her own hair, her own complexion. Her own complexion. Ha, ha, ha. What's the idea to... the super silly laugh? 
picture of that natural beauty endorsing pancake makeup. Where? Right here, in my behind the scenes in Hollywood magazine. Here on the back cover. Let's see. Linda Donnell, gorgeous screen beauty, wears nothing but camp pancake makeup. Very interesting. <laughs> Thank goodness I don't have to wear pancake makeup. Actually, one don't have to wear pancake when one is already battered. <laughs> Yeah, let me look at that picture again. <clears throat> oh, boy, look at that Don Ellen in a bathing suit, huh? What a beautiful endorsement. <laughs> Could I have that picture? What do you want, up, Finnegan? I want to draw a mustache on it. <laughs> ah, that Finnegan. That Finnegan, always the artist. Well, 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 good evening, boys, good evening Well, Officer Clancy, the shank of the evening to you Uh, come here, Clancy Uh, yeah, take a look at this picture Oh, who is that? This is the dame that I'm taking to the policeman's ball Well, pack me a nice and call me shaky What's her name? There it is right there, can't you read? If I could, I'd be a sergeant <laughs> Well, it's, uh, Linda Donnell Quite a dish, huh, Clancy? Oh, beautiful. Archie, she reminds me of the pretty little Colleen that stood beside me on my wedding day. She, too, was dark and lovely. And you married her, huh, Clancy? How could I? I just finished marrying my wife. <laughs> oh, well, that's a tough break, Clancy. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello? Uh, oh, how are you? Huh? Well, just a second, I'll ask him. Uh, Clancy, a friend of mine here wants to know what time will a policeman's ball be over? Oh, it usually lasts about 3 a.m. Thanks. Hello? You got until about 3 a.m. Okay. Who is that? Crudface Clifford, the safe cracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, a very good friend of mine. Yeah, I've sent him up the river three or four times. That's a nice friendship. Archie... How sure are you now that you can get this Linda Dardanell to come to the bar? Just as sure as I am that you're a thick-headed cop, Clancy. Well, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Give me that phone. Okay. Hello, Sergeant? This is Clancy. Clancy. C-L... Er, Clancy, the patrolman. <laughs> I'm up here at Duffy's Tavern. Now, just a second, Sergeant, you're wrong. They know me better than to offer me a drink. And you know me better than to think I'd buy one. I was, uh, listen here. I was going to tell you that I was talking to Archie about the ball, and I got great news for you. Who do you think that Archie is bringing? None other than that famous movie actress... Uh, what was her name again, Archie? Linda Darnell. Oh, yes. Linda Darnell herself. Oh, too bad we didn't have it on the posters. What? You can still give it to the newspapers. Well, yes, that'll be fine, Sergeant. Goodbye now. Uh, just a second, Clancy. You think you should uh, let them put it in the newspapers? Well, why not? She'll be there, won't she? Well, yeah, but you know, uh, accidents can happen. Yes, they certainly can. And they can happen to anybody. She better be there. I'll see you later, Archie. Okay, Flatfoot. Oh, boy, Eddie, <clears throat> when I walk in as king of the cops ball with Linda Darnell, am I going to be a hot shot? Mm. If you walk in without Linda Darnell, you're going to be a pot shot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be silly, Eddie. She ain't going to turn me down. Okay, you know best, but somehow or other, I still hear a little voice inside of me shouting, Short live the king. <laughs> Eddie, don't be such a stiptic, will you? You know very well, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's handling dames. Yes, if there's one thing you're good at. Eddie, if you're going to take the words out of my mouth, please take all of them. Hello, Archie. Uh, well, Bob Graham, how are you, Bob? Well, Bob, I'm glad to see you. Congratulations. Bob, shall we tell him now? Okay, Mr. Bailey. Hey, read me. Give me a chord. 
guests of Duffy's Tavern, we are pleased to announce that in a poll conducted by the Daily Trojan of the University of Southern California, the editors of over 300 college newspapers have chosen Bob Graham as the outstanding singing discovery of 1944. Gee, Bob, I didn't notice. Congratulations. Thanks, Archie. And, and Arch, you don't know the best part. He's going to be given the award by Linda Darnell. Linda Darnell, huh? Sure. Why did you think she was coming down here tonight? Oh. <laughs> oh. She's at the mm. top. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> Arch, this ought to be a great night for the kid, huh? Linda Darnell herself giving him the award and probably kissing him on both cheeks. <laughs> Us old bucks won't have much of a chance, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bob, this is a big night. How about singing a song to celebrate? Okay, Mr. Bailey. Hmm. I got a feeling this is gonna fly up me ointment. <laughs> Good night, sweet dream. Tomorrow's another day till then. Good night, sweetheart Good night, sleep tight I'll see you along the way in dreams Sweet dreams, sweetheart May angels up above You know, I've been thinking that with Linda Darnell coming down here, maybe you want to do something about that suit of yours, then. What's, what's the matter with it? It needs pressing, don't it? Uh, look at them shoulders. Come here, uh, maybe I can straighten them out. <laughs> oh, my goodness, your sleeve has came off. <laughs> but uh, don't worry, kid. Go down to Sam the tailor, and he'll, uh, he'll make it look like a new suit. Tell him I sent you, huh? Okay, give me the sleeve. Fine thing. He seems upset. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, Eddie, uh, we are really in a predicament. I uh, hope Bob will be back from the tailor in time for Linda to give him the award. Whatever will we do? <laughs> Eddie, I'm afraid that somebody will have to impersonate Bob Graham. I see what you mean. But Bob Graham, don't Miss Darnell know that he's just a college boy? So what? I may have a mature face, but it so happens that I have a student body. <laughs> Besides, that'll be insurance that uh, she will come to the policeman's ball, you see. Wait a minute, here she comes. Uh, rah, 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 Miss Donnell. <laughs> well, good evening, Bonnie Beautiful. <laughs> I've been expecting you. You have? Oh, but Natch. Uh, well, I'm looking for Bob Graham. Natch. Uh, can you tell me where to find him? 
surgeon. Uh, who do you think I am? Are you Bob Graham? I ain't his brother. Father? <laughs> Miss Darnell, I am not old enough to be my own father yet. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I thought you were much younger. Well, I am. <laughs> but I was told that you were 19. Ah, that's just newspaper talk. I'm really 21. <laughs> 21. Well, please forgive me, but you seem a lot older. Well, that's because I was a premature baby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see, they uh, stuck me in an incubator, and some of them jerk interns uh, turned up the heat, and it aged me too quick. <laughs> oh, Mr. Graham. Uh, Mr. Graham. Hey, that's you. Oh! Uh, yes, uh, yes, what is it, waiter? Uh, would the lady like something? A uh, good suggestion, waiter. Uh, what would you like, Miss Darnell? Uh, some soup, maybe? Well, how is the soup? Yeah, it must be good. It's been held over for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cute. What kind of notices did it get? Obituary. <laughs> hmm. Linda, uh, maybe you'd better try something from the grill. Uh, Waiter, what looks tasty on a charcoal broiler? The charcoal. <laughs> Just a second. What kind of talk is this for a waiter? Why, if I was managing this place... Now, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait. Now, you don't know nothing about managing this place because you is Bob Graham the singer, right? Right. Well, how do you expect me to know anything about waiting on tables? Me, Duke Ellington. <laughs> Eddie, will you get out of here? Okay, old Eli, get out of here. Now, Linda, let's get back to us. Uh, <clears throat> would you, uh, would you like to join me to a prom? Oh, my goodness, don't you college boys do anything but go to parties? Well, you know, you've got to have a little fun between curriculums. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you do study. Oh, but death. <laughs> what courses are you taking? Oh, the regular stuff, you know, chemistry, history, psychology, polygamy. <laughs> English, plain geometry, fancy geometry. <laughs> uh, uh, diatomy. <clears throat> Do you also study prevarication? Yeah, I'm great at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it comes easy to me. <clears throat> but uh, now what about this prom? Will you go with me? When is it? It's, um... I'm sorry, I'm awfully busy that night Linda, why are you acting so hard to get? Why are you acting so hard to take? <laughs> Look, uh, whoever you are, where's Bob Graham? I want to give him his award Wait a minute, you don't believe that I'm Bob Graham? <laughs> Not even a reasonable facsimile? Why, this is tantamount <laughs> It's like calling a rose by a spade <laughs> All right if you really are Bob Graham, how about singing a song? Huh? Well, I would, you know, but I got a bad case of uh, lingerieitis. <laughs> you know, you get it running around the house in your underwear. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Now, you ask me to go to a prom. I'll do it on one condition. What? Sing a song and prove who you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, do you mind if I take just a minute to uh, goggle me, Lonix? Uh, I'll be right with you. Thank you.
I sing this song, I want you to give me a little background, yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. Are you really going to sing? Well, I'm in a spot, Eddie. She won't go to the cop's ball with me unless I can prove I'm Bob Graham. So to prove it, I got to sing. The hard way, huh? Wait a minute, Eddie. It won't be so bad, you know. Maybe I ain't no Graham. No Graham? You is even crummier than the cracker of the same name. <laughs> Never mind the wiseacres, will you? You guys just give me a background. Yeah, okay, I swear with you. Uh, me, 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 no. Uh, that's enough, Finnegan. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough, Finnegan. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna sound so bad at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Darnell, what, uh, what song would you like to hear? Well, what song do you know? Well, I have a little number that I wrote myself called Leave Us Face It. <laughs> what did you write, the lyrics? I wrote both the words and the lyrics. <laughs> well, uh, who did the tune? That I don't know, but it's beautiful. Uh, will you hear it? Uh, I will do it accompanied by the Duffy Mixed Up Choir. Uh, Jack Bailey, Eddie Green, Finnegan, and Miss Duffy. Uh, Two and a half wits and a miss. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's go, huh? Piano. Leave us no longer pretend <laughs> that you are merely a friend. <laughs> For it is wrote in the stars above. <laughs> Don't we have tried to act cold? Suddenly low and get home, leave us, face it, mm, we're in love. Leave us not flush with no shame, if people bandage your name. Choose an old rice or we're dreaming of. Stories like in a twice. Could win a Putzel a prize Leave us facing We're in love In some other life we was once man and wife In an old French chapeau we was mated Archie, what's going on here? Wait a minute, Bob, when did you get back? Uh, look, kid, come here, quick, let's get in the back room Let go of my sleeve Oh, sorry, but Bob, Bob I, I, I don't want that dame there to see you well, that's Linda Darnell. You're nuts. That's a dame from the SPCA. She stops kids from singing. She's out to get you, kids. She says you're too young to sing in public. I'm old enough to sing any place. No more. They raised the age limit on account of Tibbet getting on a hit parade. <laughs> now, look, kid, you better duck. <clears throat> Quick, oh, too. Just a second. Are you Bob Graham? Yes, I am. Well, thank goodness. I'm Linda Darnell. Bob, I have an award for you. Say, let's get out of this stevedore store club, shall we? Okay. But, Linda, wait a minute. Well, you can't go yet. What about, what about the dance, the prom? You, you, you gotta go. It's, it's, it's the policeman's ball. Oh, the policeman's ball, huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. If you don't show up, them cops will emaciate me. <laughs> they'll, they'll murder me. They'll kill me. They'll kill you? Certainly. You talk me into it. I'm not going. Come on, Bob. Good night, Archie. Oh. Holy cat. Holy cat. Well, clang, know. clang, clang went the nightstick. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am, king of the policeman's ball and no queen. I got to think of something to tell Clancy. You better think fast, because here he comes. Well, well, Archie, my boy, Archie, I just came back to tell you that the tickets are going like wildfire. That's great, Clancy. Oh, everybody's buying tickets to see Linda Darnell. Hmm, they are, huh? Why, certainly. Well, now, look, Clancy, you, uh, you admit that it is, uh, heir to be human, huh? Oh, yes. And yes. sometimes there comes a course in a time of, uh, guy's human events, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> when he makes certain promises that, uh... Archie, Archie, it already says in the paper that she's coming. But, Clancy, you can't believe everything you read in the papers. <laughs> Archie, you're a nice boy, and I want you to know that there's nothing personal in what I'm about to do, but in behalf of the personnel of the 4th Precinct... Hello? 
Uh, Mr. Duffy, Flash, the police department has just overthrown the king. <laughs> your heart from sight, lock your dreams at night, it could happen to you. Don't count stars or you might stumble. Someone And down you tumble Keep an eye on spring Run when church bells ring It could happen to you All I did how your arms would be And it happened to me Keep an eye on spring Run when church bells ring It could happen Radio, sir. <laughs> 